Monday morning. Um, it's only about nine o'clock. My hubby took Ruby to school, so I haven't had to do school run, which is always a good start to the week. So we're back on healthy eating again. Oh dear. <laughs> so this morning I've got a big bowl of fruit and a very low fat yogurt poured over the top. So let's start as we mean to go on my dear. So I don't know what we're doing today. James has got one final exam, even though he's finished school now, but he has got a final exam for German, I think. So he's had to go in school to do that. And then he's coming home and then I don't know what we're doing today. So we might just stay in and clean up or I don't know. Anyway, good morning. Boring job alert. <laughs> so here we go again. It seems two minutes since I literally filmed myself washing up yesterday. And here I am again, washing up again. Can you believe that your room ends up like this after the weekend? Look at the mess. Look at my poor sofa. <laughs> oh dear. Everywhere in my house seems to get like this. Just looks like it's, it's sort of like fluffing up and cushions plumping and stuff. And oh dear. So we've got a bit of tidying up to do today. I've sold my little hen. Ta da! The lovely little grey one that I made yesterday has sold. So I'm just going to pack him up and then later on we'll go to post office and get him sent to his new home. Parcel all packed. Uh, cup of tea ready. And now I'm going to ring my mum for a quick chat. Well, I say quick chat. It normally ends up for about an hour when I, when I ring my mum. So I'm going to ring my mum for a little chat. 45 minutes on the bed to my mum. I was plumping the cushions up as well while I was talking to her. So we have a bit more plumpness. <laughs> Still busy, so I managed to get all my washing out on the washing line, but they did say it's going to rain later. <laughs> uh, they just said it might rain for a change. <laughs> so at the minute, it's really warm and windy, but as you can see from the sky, I do think it's going to rain again. The kettle's on, it's quarter past eleven, so that can only mean one thing in our house when we're at home. It's coffee break time. I thought while I'm having my cup of coffee, I'm going to look through my Avon book. I've got two of the older ones and one of the new ones. I've ended up with three because uh, my mum borrowed one as well. So I'm just going to have a quick look through them and then we'll get them tucked back later. Just going to the post office, post a little hen, uh, and drop the Avon book off. So off we go. dinner today but uh, let's go home i made it back so i've rustled myself up some scrambled egg on toast so obviously the eggs free on slim world the quarter of a plate is to cook with tomatoes and then the bread is my box for the day and obviously there's no butter or anything on it so off to enjoy my dinner wow it's half past two and i've done nothing i've been sat talking to james and looking at hair extensions again <laughs> so I found a new company after doing loads of research called Milk and Blush. Um, they're clipping extensions. A lot of the time I glue my extensions in, but these are clipping ones. So I thought for a change, I think I'm going to give them a go. Um, I'm going to treat myself to a box for my birthday. It's like an early birthday present to myself, but I can't make my mind around the colour. <laughs> so I've been sat looking on Instagram for ideas, uh, YouTube. Google, so I think I've narrowed it down to two, so I just need to make my mind up. So that'll be an interesting video, won't it? Because um, if they're good, we can all have a set. <laughs> so anyway, I need to do something, I need to start dinner. Right. So for dinner today, or tea should I say, uh, we're having a roast dinner, but obviously I've got to put Ruby up halfway through when I need to get it ready. So what I've done, 
Um, I follow a Jamie recipe thing, a Jamie Oliver thing, and what he does, he puts the chicken in the oven, cooks it for roughly how long it needs cooking, but then you take it out and you don't serve it straight away, you just kind of like leave it on top of the oven wrapped in foil, and it like continues to cook, and it makes the chicken taste so nice. So the chicken's in, chicken's in the oven, and I'm going to take it out and then fetch Ruby from school and then do the veg when I get back. So. Um, my chicken's very busy cooking. Yeah. I've come outside to hang some more washing out and I'm just looking at my roses. The rain has obviously made it a bit droopy, the poor thing. It wants like um, fastening back up again. But look how many roses there is. There's loads. And I can't believe they smell amazing. Look at the detail of them. They're so lovely. Nature is so amazing sometimes. I bought some roses in out my garden. I don't hold out much hope for this poor little bud. Well, I'll say little, it's massive, look at it, but I don't think it'll open, but you never know. So there's some of my little pink roses. Decided to bring my washing in because I've got a sneaky feeling it's going to rain and my washing's nearly dry. So I thought, no my look, I'll get a score on it, I'll chuck it down. So I bought it in and just gonna let it air off in my conservatory. It's a hard life, isn't it, Miss Winnie? Watching somebody else do all the work. Okay. <laughs> right, there's my chicken. So it's out the oven. Um, I'm just going to cover it over with some foil and then we're going to go on school run. We're in the car and away we go. Off on school run. Obviously, we didn't have to do school run this morning, so it's not too bad, is it? My head is full of hair <laughs> extensions. I'm like, do I go for the grey tipped ones? Do I go for the blonde tipped ones? I just can't make my mind up. It's horrible. I think I'm going to go for the, the grey tipped ones just to be a bit different. Um, I have ordered some other blonde ones, just some cheap ones. So I've kind of covered the blonde end ones. So I think if I try the grey ones, it'll be like a bit trendy, a bit quirky. And I think, and the grey would probably match the grey that keeps coming through at the roots of my hair. Ooh, the joys of getting older. Um, Anyway, I need to make my mind up. I'll ask Ruby's opinion when she comes home. So, it's not raining, so fingers crossed it doesn't rain. It's really hot in the car, because obviously the sun's been out and it's really, really warm. It's showing 20 degrees, but the wind's a bit nippy, so you really don't know what to wear. It's so bizarre. I, I thought, well, I think we're too hot with a coat on, so I've put my mulberry, like, little shawl thing just around me. But even so, at the minute, in the car I'm boiling, but as soon as you step out, you're not warm enough. Ooh, you've got to love a bit of British weather. <laughs> and I wouldn't be British, would I, if I didn't moan about the weather. I think we all do. So, anyway, my dears, let's go to school. Let's hope we get parked. Arrived. So we're 15 minutes early, but at least we've got a space. And I've sort of parked out the way to avoid all the rush. <laughs> so we have got a little bit of a walk. So fingers crossed it won't rain. Um, so I'm just debating. I don't know whether to set off now and walk slowly or to wait a minute and walk quicker. I don't know, but we've arrived anyway. chicken little new potatoes and vegetables so off to enjoy it oh, right waiting for my tea to go down and now because we're back on healthy eating i'm going on a cross trainer i must be mad because it's absolutely boiling in my conservatory but i thought if i can just do 15 minutes or something just to burn a few calories so oh let the fun begin <laughs> Everybody's saying that the scat man's got to be the man. 
So I've done 26 minutes, 20 seconds, and 240 calories, and 10 minutes on my hula. Oh, so I'm off for a bath. Oh, a nice cup of tea after you've got out of the bath. Nothing better, is there? Love my little Houston mug. Our little vlog of the day. Thank you so much for watching. Share my little day in England. Obviously, we've not really done that much, but kind of it's been a long day. I don't know why. <laughs> so it is. If you do enjoy life in England, daily vlogs, handbags, shopping, and anything else that we get up to, then please subscribe to my channel. Go and find me on Instagram as Mrs. Crazy Bag Lady and my Depop shop. My username is pinkcar07, and I'll put my username down below. So I love you and leave you, and I'll speak to you tomorrow. Take care.